Hey guys, welcome back to Scott Barnes TV. I'm your host, Scott Barnes. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me a message and ring the bell and probably 10 other things. I don't know. I'm here with my great friend, Sue, and I'm finally going to give you guys, you're always like, why aren't you using somebody older? Why? I'm like, um, half my clients are older, but all right. This is Sue. Sue, how old are you? 66. Sue is 66 years old. <laughs> used to be, used to be into bodybuilding. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's not how we met, but yeah. we're neighbors. Um, <laughs> and Sue's amazing accountant. So uh, I, I, I'm with Sue a lot. And we talk about skin and we talk about makeup and we talk about great ways to really kind of minimize, you know, lines. And we've been talking about a lot of stuff, right? So yes. you just had a little yes. bit of stuff done. Yes. And just like what I call like little like turning the dial, if you will, just a little bit. But have you done anything with your skin? No. All right, so now, if anybody's over the age of 30, which I know a lot of you are, a lot of people went in the sun, didn't use sunscreen. We're not, we weren't as educated as we are today about sun damage, about cancer, about SPF, okay? So back then we were using oil you said sun in, like people were putting sun in in their hair and you were laying with oil and sometimes baby oil with iodine in it. And the little foil things. And you put a foil thing up. Okay, <laughs> killing your skin, rotisserie. Okay, so what happens is you get a little bit of sun damage. And most women have a problem, especially on their decolletage, right? So what that does is like, it really limits you to wear, sometimes if you're going to an event and you're like, I don't wanna wear this because if I put makeup on, my face looks really good and you do all this kind of reparative work, but why is my chest all red? Why is it blotchy? How do I get rid of sunspots? You can, now there's a process of resurfacing. So contact your local plastic surgeon or your dermatologist. There's a lot of lasers out there within five or six treatments can change your whole life, okay? Um, I had a burn in here from a curling iron from doing a music video with JLo and the hair assistant hit me in the, and I've lasered it so many times now and it's, and it's getting better. So if I can remove a scar, you guys can remove some damage, okay? There's also retinols, there's things that you can do to really rejuvenate and this really shows a woman's age. It's the neck, the hands and the chest, right? So I'm gonna teach you guys a little shortcut. If you need to go somewhere and you wanna wear a really great dress and you're like, okay, I wanna beat my face, but my chest looks like it's been beat. <laughs> so we wanna like reverse that, okay? So I hope this information's comfortable for everybody. First, we're gonna do Sue's body and then we're gonna move up into her face because I like to work up. I don't like to do the face and then try to finagle matching something later. It's weird to me. All right, so I'm gonna start in here. So do you ever put anything on besides Body bling. <laughs> Besides body bling, no. Um, actually, what I do is I just use, I, I do use a really good sunscreen. Okay. I do. What do now, you use? But I never did when I was younger. Now, what's your sunscreen um, of choice? Yeah, we're, that's why I said we're wiser now. Yeah, yeah, we know. I didn't do we have been informed. Yeah. <laughs> never too old to learn new things, um, is what I always say. There's a couple of them. There's one by Amgen. I can't think of the name of it um, off the top of my head, but there's a couple of them that I use. Mm -hmm. um, and I also use Neutrogena, just right off the shelf. Neutrogena is great. I mean, everybody you know, knows right I do shelf. Neutrogena <laughs> hacks, and now I guess everybody's like, you can't use yeah. that. I'm like, I, okay. Because yeah. of where, whatever. Now, a couple of things. Um, what do you use to feed your skin? Like say you get out of the shower and you use a moisturizer. So I use, on my, on my chest, I use... Body. A, no, no body. I use a strobectin. It's a decolleté mm -hmm. for your decolleté is what I use. I use this. I use La Mer. They sent me a gigantic, look at this jug. It's like <laughs> literally like a thousand million dollar jug of La Mer. Feel it. You got to get involved. Get a little oh bit. Oh my God. I know. Like Feel it. Oh, wow. This is awesome. Yes. Now put it on your hands because I don't want you getting it everywhere because I got to put makeup on you. Now, I love body bling, as everybody knows, and I created it to give the body a nice glow, right? Yes. So we're using a little, doesn't that feel good? Yeah, it does feel What's great. great about La Mer? And okay, everybody's like, why is it so expensive? And you're like, well, because it actually soaks into your skin yeah. and it's actually useful. Duh. Right? Yeah, this is awesome. Right, okay. Awesome. 
Thanks, Lamare. Now that's going to happen. We love you, Lamare. <laughs> yeah, now it's like, that's a save up purchase. Yeah. That's definitely, okay, you always do those like things. You're like, I need to splurge on this, and then I need to like cut corners on this. It's like your makeup wardrobe. You know, there's certain things you can get away with buying cheaper, and certain things you can't. I'm going to start with the foundation brush. Now, another really great product that I say hides a multitude of sins is Derma Blend, right? This is their Derma Blend Professional. And what I love about this, you can see the little window in there. And what this does, this is leg and body makeup. It's buildable, it's liquid, and it's got a sunscreen in it of SPF of 25. Good stuff, guys, right? So I'm going to use two shades. This is medium golden and then medium bronze. Ooh. Why am I not using body bling? Well, I'm going to use body bling, but not yet. Right now, we're going to cover a multitude of sins, right? We're going to say, okay, there was some sinful things going on on the beach, and we're going to cover them now. And at the pool. And at the pool. <laughs> See, and at the pool. She threw that in there. See, memories. <laughs> okay, so look. And what you'd want this to do is not to become textury, right? So I work right up to the neck. And you're somebody that likes a little bit of sun, right? Yeah, the sun is I good. Like the sun is, that sun-kissed look is something that you strive for and try to achieve. Well, that covered right away. Yeah. So imagine you're going to an event yeah. and you're like, okay, I want to cover this. But you don't want to be like, okay, you look like you've been dipped in makeup or you don't want to look like you've just been to the mortuary, right? <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You ever see those girls and they look like they're like, yeah. they've been mummified? You're like, girl, blend. Okay, so the trick is, and there's a trick to this, and I'm going to teach you guys. This is what it is, okay? I think with all foundations, no matter what they are, whether it's the body, whether it's the face, you let it sit for a second. Let your body heat up, acclimate to it, get together with it. I'm going to lift up the strap a little bit, boop, boop, go right underneath it. And the other thing is too, a lot of women are like, my arm, like they get into that arm thing. Right. Do you have that thing? You don't have that issue, do you? What do you mean? Like I got to cover my arms, you know, they get, women get to a certain age and they start like freaking out about getting, their arms. Getting to that point, by the way. <laughs> you are, where you're like, I got to cover my arms. Well, yeah. I'm going to teach you something else too. So yeah. this is going to be like, it's an all in one. Cause there's no reason to like completely cover up unless you've got like complete chicken wing and you're yeah. just flapping in the breeze and you feel uncomfortable with it. Right. That's one thing. You, you still have really great tone. You work out, you're doing, what do you do? Pilates, you do, uh, do stretching. A little bit of weights, but you know, a little bit of weight training. I have mm -hmm. like three, five of them, but I have shoulder issues, so I can't go heavy. So but right. I used to be very. Yeah. You know, used to be built. bodybuilding yeah, yeah, all the yeah, time. I used to be very built. So look at that. We just cleaned up your skin. We did a little, we cleaned a multitude of sins here. <laughs> and this looks great. All right. So what are we going to do? Set it and forget it? No. I'm going to grab rose gold body bling in the pave powder. Okay. Why am I not using, let's grab, oh, hold on. Why am I not using the original? Well, you could, but I'd rather set it. So say, yes. we're, yeah, we're going to, we're going to go out. We're going out, right? You're going out and you want to, you're going to hug people. So if I put foundation on and then I put body bling foundation on, on top of it, you're double foundationed. So I want to set it, but how are we going to set it? Let's set it with some, let's grab our body brush and what is it? Number 69. And this is how I like loosen it up here. Okay. It doesn't fall out. So, and then we're going to highlight this a little bit and also be setting it at the same time. So remember we were talking about making your arms look thinner. Yeah. This does it. We're creating... It's kind of like a contour. It's kind of like a contour. We're creating highlights, golden highlights, so that the skin stands up, it looks thinner, and we're also setting that foundation so it doesn't look like you've been to the mortuary, <laughs> right? And it looks supple. So you're ready for a cocktail party or an event. 
Because there's nothing worse when you see a woman, their face is all made up beautifully, and then you get to their chest, and it looks like 150 years old, and it looks ragged and dry, and you're like, what is happening? And it's red and bumpy. You're like, no. So this is the solution to that. So we have a nice clean slate to work with, and it looks smooth, and it's not coming off of my hands, and it looks gorgeous, right? It's easy. looks great. I'm loving this. You're like, okay, all day. That it was very simple. Yeah, it is very simple. So I, I will leave those uh, descriptors in the comments so you guys can see. Again, La Mer. We used a little bit of Derma Blend, and we used Pave Powder by Moi with the foundation brush. So that's a really easy kit to get things going. That's Derma Blend, Scott Barnes, Pave Powder, and a brush. Okay. This is your body. You can do your legs with this. You can do your arms with it. It's easy, right? Boom. Okay, done, done and done. So now let's move on to your face. Your gorgeous face. <laughs> you got a beautiful face. That was easy, right? That was very easy. Okay, that's what I try to do. I try to make solutions for you guys that are easy. doesn't seem complicated. It's not a 13 step process. This is boom, one and done. All right, I'm gonna use Makeup Forever. Have you ever used Makeup Forever con concealers? Okay. This one's a little pinky. This one's good. It's their Ultra HD formula. And I'm going to just give you a little light in here. Now, I know you use brushes because I yell at you all the time to use my brushes. Use my brushes. <laughs> use your brushes I know you do. And you <laughs> buy them for your friends. And I mean, yeah. you're like such a huge supporter of the brand. It's amazing. They're great brushes. Thank you. Look how pretty that is. We're just lightening everything up. Now see what happens again, and your face is beautiful. You're 66 years old and you should be impressed with how good your skin is, right? Even on your chest, it's not bad. Yeah, considering not bad. we live in California, yeah. considering you're athletic, considering that you've spent years like, so. yeah, and you're in the <laughs> desert totally too. You're always in the, the desert. In the desert. The, you, I know, because I used to have a house in the desert. It dries you out faster than anything. You feel like an iguana. After a day, you're like, oh my God, how did I, how did I get this dry? Is it possible? <laughs> All right. I'm going to use my new cream foundation that I'm working on. And you're going to like it. Not just because I said you're going to like it, but because it's really nice on the skin. Oh, it feels comfortable. It's very comfortable. I don't like things that are really heavy. So that's, this feels great. Well, I like this. I'm working on this formulation because it's a little bit of like almost a cream to powder formulation. So what it does is it's not, if it goes into any of your lines, it's not creating more lines. Does that make sense? It's not creating more creases. Mm -hmm. wow. So when you see those together. Now the trick is do not, because everybody thinks because you're older to stay away from powder, stay away from, it's the application of stuff. You got to change the way you're applying, right? Because we get a little dry around the yeah, lips yep. and then you got like little, little tiny lines. fine, fine lines. lines and then you get the creeper lip gloss, yeah. right? So after you've had like a couple cocktails, <laughs> it's not only gone, but it's creeped up into yeah, your chin. chin. Yeah. And you're like, great. This is fun. And you have to run to the bathroom. And then you're running, <laughs> you're trying to fix it. Yeah. You're like, let me fix this. <laughs> Okay, and blush placement is really important too. Because what happens is you guys and my generation, your generation, we were taught how to put on blush differently. Like my mom, you know, used to put her blush somewhere else. My grandmother used to put her blush right. somewhere else. It's kind of like we get stuck in these, these rules, right? So I'm gonna teach you where to put this now for a more youthful appearance. And your skin's in great shape. Now, did you do microblading on your brows or anything? Yep. How did, did you There's like it? I did it. On it there now. Um, I wouldn't do it again. But be, I'm it felt a little smart. weird, my, right? Yeah, my, Agreed. Um, <laughs> my brows are very sparse, so it did create better definition by doing it. But not good enough to no, do it again. I, I don't, I'm not sure the job was done very right. <laughs> yeah, that's one of those weird things. Yeah. It's like it's like going to get a haircut. Yeah. You're like, oh, he pulls out a machete. You're like, I don't know if you're the right person for this job. <laughs> Although on Instagram, they have people that do those kind of haircuts. I don't know if you've seen them. They samurais with like 
swords. Yeah, yes, yes, <laughs> and they yes, just yes, chop yes, the yes, hair yes, up. Yes. I'm like, oh, Lord. Yeah, just lay them on the table and they just take a hatchet <laughs> to them. <laughs> I think that's just perfect, I hope. <laughs> That's pretty. Yep. And the skin looks hydrated. Right. Do you see that? You look at your forehead. It looks hydrated. It's pretty. Dewy. Almost dewy. Yeah. Now, I haven't put anything on your lids yet. Nope. So you're a little... Now, you were asking me today, what's my undertone, right? Yeah. So let's talk about undertones so. for a second. Here's your knuckles. Yeah. And you said, I'm kind of golden, right? I said, you are, because look at how pink I am. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm pink like your sweater, yeah. or you're like your shirt. Yeah. So look how golden you are. Yeah. And you're Irish. Irish and German. Okay. Yeah. So you're fair, yeah. usually. Yeah. But black Irish is like, as they say, is dark haired, lighter skin, and can freckle, but the skin's a little bit more olive and it's tough. A little tougher than like a red headed Irish. I'm with still feeling that linear. Feels insane. good. <laughs> you love it, right? I do. It's good stuff. <laughs> Um, I'm going to use Makeup Forever HD powder, okay? This is Ultra HD. It's a translucent powder. Um, it's a great product for women who are not 20. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Because it literally just softens everything softens up. Softens everything up, yeah. And it's not heavy, you know. It's not a heavy-duty powder very fine it's very finely milled and it's not making little it's not making your lines more liney <laughs> does that make sense it's yeah. just and when you have these little areas where i call like here you got these like little kind mm -hmm. of valleys and stuff that just knocks it back knocks it right back in place get some of that that's for sure <laughs> and, and it's easy and it's not you don't need a lot of it because it it does get weird if you use too much of anything it's just weird okay so and I just like to just gently go in the T-zone. Pretty, right? Mm -hmm. Now this is a powder that I'm working on right now. I get a lot of calls about this one, a lot of DMs. It's called Petal. Yeah, it's you got. You can see a difference right there. Yeah. yeah. So I, what I do is just kind of go back over that. Oops. With the pedal. Put the pedal to the metal. All right. Now I'm going to go in with blush. I'm going to use a blush single. And I'm going to use Minimalist. I think for you is good because you don't need a ton of color. All right, so let's talk about blush. Everybody used to put it right here. No, 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 no. We're going to go right in here. Bring it up toward the front and bring it a little higher toward. So kind of above the bone almost. Or above the a chin. little bit, kind of almost to the eye socket yeah. and to the cheek. Smile a little bit. See right in the apple there? I'm going to show you guys right placement. It's really important. Making a little C shape. See that? Mm -hmm. And that lifts you, right? So let's pretend like this is the 80s. <laughs> We're going down here. Now that hollows you out and it's lower, yeah. but this lifted. This lifted this, right. Yes. So we're going to go back in here again and then bring it up kind of by the eye. Right? Are you laughing because this is crazy or? It's just a big difference. Yeah. yeah. Now, what I, I like to do. I've been wrong, to be honest. Have you? you? See, yes, so I, I got you, you know. <laughs> so the other thing is, too, what you can do with this is you just kind of bounce over the edge of the nose like this. Why? Right? Because when you used to go out in the sun, isn't that where the sun used to hit you a little bit on yep. the nose? Yep. It looks really yep. pretty. Yep. It's youthful looking. Yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> Gotta love it. I'm going to go back in there. Grab chic cheek. I'm gonna use a little bit of the rose all day and just bring that right into the front. It's okay to use two different blushes together too to create a little bit of dimension. People underestimate pink 
pink is really youthful. What it does is as we start to get older, we start losing that pinkiness to our skin and the skin gets sallow. Yeah. Looks pretty, Sue. Yeah. What do you think so far? I like it. Easy peasy? Yeah. I have that too. Do you? Yes, I do. Okay. So let's lip line. With Karen. Karen lip liner. Relax your mouth for me. Now what I'm going to do with you, because I know you want your lips full, right? I'm going to teach you another little trick, okay? okay? I'm full of tricks today. So I'm going to turn you a little bit this way so everybody can, can the camera can see. Okay, we're going to lift up from the corner. Just like this. And it's not like I'm overlining your lips. But what we're doing is we're just kind of like lifting and rounding. See that? It looks like I have a lip. Yeah. Well, you do. You have nice lips. What happens is, again, as we age, this gets longer, right? Mm -hmm. And you get worried about all this, like, fine lines. And I'm going to connect this a little bit right up at top. Can't remember it was really big yeah. to have the Cupid's bow? Yes. Now we're rounding that out now. The new lip shape is to round it out. I love wood pencils, and I'll tell you why. You can use the wood to your advantage. How do you do that? By dragging it, turning the pencil to its side, and you're dragging. If you're not somebody that's really precise at going in straight like yeah. this. So it creates not a straight line, not a straight so definition. It gives it a little blending. softness. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Gabrielle, what do you think? Like, what's the T or... Heartbreaker, love story. <laughs> Pretty. Okay. I'm using this on you, which is Heartbreaker. Okay. I think it's Heartbreaker. It's Hold on. By the end of this. <laughs> yeah. You know what's great about this is this is our liquid lipstick. Okay. It's the fetish, lip fetish product, which is a matte. The matte. Okay. Not a gloss. I'm going to tell you two reasons why. I'm going to show you a really great way to put it on. Okay? You're going to take this fan brush that I make. Uh -huh. It's number 61, which I know you have. Yep. Yes. See how I'm grabbing it? And I'm dusting it on. This becomes a lip stain. You're not going to get the creepage. Right. It's going to look softer. And it's going to stay on for like 12 hours. Okay? Pretty colored. And it's a beautiful color. It's like your lips, but a little bit more. And when this dries, it's not moving, Sue. It's not going anywhere. So you don't have to worry about the creepy smile. See that? Look at Teeth look gorgeous, smile looks gorgeous. Okay. It's a beautiful color on you. And you can top it with a gloss if you need to, you know, if you want to. Yeah, the glossy, glossy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I have done that before. Okay, so that's a pretty lip, yeah. pretty color. We likey. And then we're gonna move into the eyes. Pretty. So I'm going to use a little bit of bronzer. This is, I'm going to show you about my bronzers. Let's talk about the Soleil powder for a minute. Because people just woke up to it this year. I don't know why. They were sleeping on it last year. And now they're like, oh my God, this is amazing. I was like, yeah. Comes in two shades. This is Bondi Beach, Australian, which is a little golden. And then Sicilian Sun, which is red. Okay. There are very subtle changes. And the other thing about this powder is it's divine. And I'll tell you why it's divine. I'm going to use Bondi Beach on you because you've got the golden undertones. It is sheer in the sense that it's not mud 
I'm using it on my hand so you guys can see. Like I'm really putting this on my hand so you guys can see what it does. It doesn't go flat. Okay. Big, it was really important. And what I did was when I was designing this, I wanted this to be big enough so that you can work it into your body, face, face. yeah, everything. So everybody's like, why is it so huge? And I'm like, well, why are you complaining? <laughs> so I'm going to hit you right here, bow, 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 bow. right where the sun hits you. See that? Yeah. Pretty. And then we're going to just toast the edges all around the edges, right? Pretty? Yeah. Yeah, you like that little warmth. And then you're going to bring this right down along your neck. Now you can do contouring and all that right. stuff, but I'm giving you a very simple, oh my God, she's so gorgeous look. You know, you just woke up like this. And I just, pretty, easy. Yeah. That's the Soleil. Don't sleep on the Soleil powder. It's good, I'm telling you. All right, let's go to the Snatural One palette. Because I know this is the one you have at home. Yes, it is. And you use it, and you like it, and it works for you. And it's a Velvet lot of really great Velvet neutrals. Velvet, yes. Yep. All right. So let's grab our number 62 brush, which is our fluff, fluff brush. And I'm going to grab Femme and Foxy. And I didn't do anything to your lid. I didn't put concealer on it no. and all that because I don't want you to get cakey. That's why the rules are no cake. We eat cake. We don't wear it. Okay. Open. Oh, that's pretty. Yep. Femme Foxy. Femme and Foxy. Have that's you. You're Femme and Foxy. Two Fs. <laughs> And what I'm doing is not really doing a cut crease, but I'm going in the crease and just kind of fluffing it out. Pretty, right? It's easy, easy, easy. Open again. And we're creating a little bit of depth of field right here. Nothing's too out of control. Nothing's too crazy. We're not overdoing it. Remember, we're doing an easy peasy daytime look. You know, you're going out to lunch with your girlfriends. You don't want to look like you're trying to catch a man, but you could be trying to catch a man. Come this way a little bit, open. Now you do individual lashes, right? Yes. And what I'm going to do with you is because your lashes are, they're sticking out longer than your eye. So we're going to make your eye look longer. Like that. Oh, wow. Okay. So you just kind of went out. That's interesting. I'm going to go here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to wrap it around so you can see. And I'm using this curved brush, which is brush number 60. And using the same. Uh, same eyeshadow, color. Same eyeshadows. We haven't switched anything yet. Okay. Eric's not going to recognize me. Eric's not going to let you leave the house. <laughs> Eric's going to go, girl, get, sit down. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> and we're going to just kind of lift from the outer corner now. Just to make a little bit. See that? Mm -hmm. Make a little bit more space. And the eyes are getting a little bit more open and a little bit bigger. a very simple look yeah. it's not I'm not trying to overcomplicate stuff here it's the travel highlighter brush I have the travel set I love it yeah well I'm going to teach you what to do with it I'm going to teach you how to color wash you know how to color wash no. okay I'm going to show you right now I'm going to grab a little bit of starlet a little bit of Hollywood a little starlet little Hollywood easy 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 like this okay, okay. and what we're going to do is we're going to color wash you and what this does is it just softens up all the edges and blends everything together and you look seamless. Oh, wow. See that? So the light catches it when you turn your head a little bit, but it doesn't look like you got glitter on your eyelids, like you're trying to be 12. 
grown women don't really necessarily love glitter. <laughs> yeah, <not my> age. <laughs> You're like, um, I, that's a little too glittery for me. Can you back it up, please? I hear that a lot. Women are like, yeah, does it have a lot of glitter in it? They're very scared of the glitter. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is grab this brush, which is the angle brush number 59. Yep. If you see it mm -hmm. right there. And I'm going to grab a color called Temptation in that same palette. And I'm just going to give you a little tiny line next to your lash line for some punctuation. Pretty, right? Yeah, this gives a little bit more definition. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Now, I know that you wear falsies. Yes, but I do use that stuff on my lowers. So yeah, okay. Yes. So this is really great, especially if you do get some of this on your lashes, it comes off. Yeah. They're meant to work oh, together. Yeah, I wash my eyelashes. Yeah. With, I have an eyelash. So. Yeah, that if whole... If anything gets on them, it comes right out. And this is the pumped up mascara. You have beautiful lower lashes, so let's emphasize them a little bit. Look at how big your eyes just got, Sue. Everything's dialed in, looks open. I'm putting a little bit on your lashes here on the outer corners, just to get them to act right. Because yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. they're like, ah! Yeah. They get a little excited about work. This morning, I didn't do that. Well, I think a little bit of mascara, just like on the outer yeah, corner, yeah. sometimes just help Oops. everything come together. Yeah. Now I'm just going to grab a regular brush. This is Royal Lang and Nickel. It's BOM Bomb 420. It's got a little nubby end on it. I'm going to grab some lace from the same palette or. And I'm going to just hit you right here. We're going to bring a little bit of sparkle into the inner corner of the eye and just wake you up. What do you think? I like it. It's pretty, right? Yeah. That's laced. I'm just going to hit a little bit on the tip of your nose. Yeah. It's pretty. Easy. Easy. Okay. Little blush. Going back in with the blush again because I feel like we could pump it up a little bit just for a little topper there. Another thing, the Lip Trio, get it while you can. It has three shades, full size. It's got Blondie, Crystal, and Coral Cabana, okay? All three of these shades work for everybody. They're universal shades, so you cannot mess up with these. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys what the uh, Blondie looks like, or we can even do the Crystal. And this has little flecks of pink in it. Pops. Yeah. Yeah, everything just pops up. And this, if you keep it away from the edge, it's not going to creep up. Okay? Okay. That's the key. That's the key. That's the key. It's not going up. Over yeah. Gotcha. We built the lip. Just go right, like literally a, a centimeter underneath it. That's it. And these are three in a pack. Did you get these? I have those. Okay. I figured you did. I can't remember what you have and what you don't have. Um, the sculpting and contouring palette. My favorite. Yeah. What, do you use it on your brows? I use it just kind of around here. Okay. Bit, and well, well, sometimes right, like on the side of my nose. Well, because I think you need to be in here, like snatched. Okay. And what that's going to do is it's going to soften up your brow shade. Okay. Just a little bit. Because when it's you do the dark. microblading, yeah. it, get, it pulls that dark. Dark. And then I'm going to bring you in just a little bit too, right to there. And that's going to change things a little bit. See, right yeah, there. Yeah, I got you. So bring it down. Do you ever do that? No. Take a look. Oh, yeah, much better. Mm -hmm. See that? And that's snatch. So this is automatically inside your palette. You can use it for your brows and it's got a little warmth to it. 
Very, very pretty. Thank you. Look at that. I wouldn't be pretty without you. <laughs> Sue, you're beautiful. You used to model when you were younger. Yes. Yes, you did a lot of modeling. And you just did a gig like not too long ago. Somebody asked you to do something, wasn't it? Weren't you doing something? I don't know. I thought you'd tell me you were. I did, but I didn't do it. I was asked, but I just couldn't make it work. Oh, you were very, she was busy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she, was, she was busy jumping around. She's always traveling this one. I'm like, she's like, I'm not coming in tomorrow. I'm traveling. <laughs> All right, contour palette. We're going to go back to it. And we're going to grab our fan brush, yeah. right? Yes, that's what I use. Okay. And I grabbed a little bit of sliced and a little bit of shade. Sliced, sliced and shade. shade. Okay. Okay. And we're going to go right up underneath this jawline. And I always do a little thing where I grab it right here. I'll show you, and I just kind of go right I'll there. Don't ahead. tell anybody I do this. <laughs> <laughs> I think your secret's out. <laughs> <laughs> so I just kind of just kind of go right into the jawline underneath here, and then I just wrap it right around into the hairline, and I don't tell anybody that I do that. And then I bring it forward, and then I bring it back, and then I go up the nose and over the other side of the nose, just gently. <laughs> And there's a lot of definition in the face. And that's it. That's like what? If you were to do this in yourself, it's 20 minutes? 20 minutes, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. In and out the door. Yeah. Gorgeous. Ready yeah. to go. Ready for your next party. It's awesome. Thank you for being my model, Sue. thank you. You are amazing. <laughs> and beautiful. And look at that smile. It's incredible. Did you learn anything? I learned a lot. That's, that's good. Now it's going to be kind of, kind of fun to home and try it on my own. So. Yeah, you yeah. can. And look at your chest. That's what looks this really is incredible. This amazing. This I love. Right? Yes, so you could do the same thing with your hands. hands I didn't too. bring it all the way down to your hands, but let me teach you, want me to teach you a little you makeup trick on the hand? I'll show you what no. it does. This is a very cool little technique, okay? I call it dry brushing. What you want to do is take your brush and get rid of half the stuff, half on, the it, stuff on it, right? Just brush it on your hand so that when you get to your hand, again, you don't look like you have makeup all over your hands. And sometimes makeup can make your hand look older. Yes. Because it makes and everything. Very veiny, so this is probably a big, would be a big help. Yeah, you get a little like bluey. Yes. You're pulling those like yes. blue veins yes. and, you know. So if you put your two hands together like this, you can kind of see what it's yeah. doing. Oh, yeah. Let's get it right there. Yeah. Okay. and then pounce a little bit. And I always let it sit again for a second. Okay. And then just pat it. Pat it in. Because what you want it to do is like, you want it to look real, but you just want to take down some of that blue. Yeah. See? Which it did. And it looks yeah. younger, right? Yeah. It looks younger automatically. Yeah. You can always take a little bit of powder and then you just pop it. Not, yeah. you're not layering it in, but you're just softening it. Huge difference. Yeah, big difference. <laughs> and that just like it complements your jewelry and it's not, you know, and then you don't feel weird when your hands up by your yeah. face either. Right. You're talking, you know, having a glass of wine, your hands up and all of a sudden you've got like <laughs> the crib keeper hand. You don't want that, right? So <laughs> we want to keep it fresh and gorgeous. Body bling's great for that too, but it gets a little metallic on your knuckles. Then, yeah, I, yeah. So the way to do that again is use a little bit of that pave powder and just use whatever's remaining in the brush. Okay, it's not about a new application. See? Yeah. Completely. Yeah, it's pretty. All right, you guys. Hope you guys learned something. Don't say I didn't tell you so, because I told you so. And enjoy. All right, God bless you all. I'll see you guys soon. Available only at scottbarnes.com.